Center of quantum groups and relation to homology of a point center tables. So uh, let me start with quantum groups. So uh, to simplify, we'll consider this G to the uh, complex algebra, uh, which is um, simple base, but this is not necessary. For the result and to itself, simplify the notations. Um, and then I will take um, we'll take P to be a weight matrix for G, and then um, we'll work with the field F, which is just the fraction field of polynomial in one or four variable Q. And then inside, consider this thing. And then uh, the compact <laughs> you can uh, note that you Q. So uh, this is a non commutative deformation of the uh, envelope algebra of G. So uh, it can be defined by presentation. So it's the F algebra generated by. But they generate this I and I and the lambda with lambda jumps to P and I is indexed by uh, simple roots. And uh, some except separating some relations, for example, we can have P lambda times C mu, it's P lambda times mu, and K0 will be identical to your algebra. And then you have K lambda E I K lambda inverse is Q to the power of lambda alpha. So I fix um fix yeah, so H is the carton and so have this standard normalized form on H. In every normal form on H, and then uh, so we have this, and then from the from the inverse, it's two minus from the and you have common derivation group that the I of J minus I J the I is greater than I J times K I minus K I. And then uh, you need to put in a quantum set relation. So if you have sentence, you have to know this. You should have this sentence. You just imagine with the, it's a non commutative deformation of the analog algebra. So what we're be going to be interested in is that, so we have two uh, integral forms inside this algebra. There is two A's of algebra when you when you phase change to the fraction field you get the Q. Um so they are so we have two we have integral forms. So at the end of that's the third one the third one is um so one of them is defined by the functioning types and it's just you take uh the A set algebra Inside the Q, which is generated by E I and I and K lambda. And there's another form which is defined by Lucy. Is um, the A type and were generated by divided powers of E I and I. Yes, thank you. So, um, so the divided power is just a new thing. The n power 
divided by the function of the factorial, uh, where the function of the cube is the inverse, and the factorial is the usual sense, the element, etc. And so, by definition, you see that this is a set equilibrium. Um, right, and so we will go on, we're going to be interested in the specialization of these algebras to the subunit. So I want to specialize, so fix zeta. Well, first of all, you can fix zeta to be any right? And then, uh, which is vertical, and so you have a, a potential and And uh, so we get and the, the injective map gives you a map here, which is no more injective. And if, uh, so if data is not, a, then this is, this is an isomorphism. But uh, if it has this community, they're different. And, um, so, yeah, first of all, for them, you can see that it, it had, uh, let's say, it had, from now on, it's, from now on, it's fixed because they have elements of them. And I will always just put L in this Um, and if she, uh, okay, I assume she is in this, and sometimes later, if I talk about, about regular blocks, I will assume L is bigger than the constant in one of um, like this. Okay. And so the point is that if theta is L groups of community, you will see that the quantum number uh, L specialized at theta is equal to zero. So in particular, when you consider the E to the powers of L inside uh, inside blue six, um, blue six quantum group, then this is L theta times factorial times the divided power, and so this is this is zero. But this is not the case with uh, the working class. And so in particular, here is uh, this map will kill uh, e i to the power of L and s i to the power of L. Any question? <laughs> Okay, and then the So, so let's start with the generic case. So, first of all, in a generic situation, you feel like I have a of um, where you take this you q zero to be in a set of representations, and on it you define what carries naturally an action of w by acting on weights, but you want to have the shifted action. Um, so you have the thought action w dot lambda is given by q to the power of w lambda minus lambda. Here we go. Thanks, KW. And then, um, so you proceed as we said before. So you you project the, your your quantum envelope uh, at zero and look at its description to the center and um, restrict to an isomorphism 
between the center and the uh, uh, point here is that the given part of this cube zero and then you got the error. Here, uh, the even part is just those which are the form of H2 lambda for um, And then you can, as as in the euro paradigmatic, it's you can shift your uh, your shift your argument, and then this becomes and to make this the usual W known, and your other functions on uh, T, which is W known, T is the maximum powers whose characters. And so here the identification is so you will send this. So yeah, you send this is isomorphic to F T, where you will send K to lambda to E to the character corresponding to lambda, and then the sign is given by sending this to Q uh and this to the So this is the complement of, of the Harikana map. And this has the And now I to the the bonds. Oh, my the corresponding version of this community. Yeah, yeah, this is the So I'll take. J to be the semi connected editor group by social G and then it's just like so so since but yeah so okay so center of of this So you first notice that since you this is an integral function saying UQ. So when base change to F, you will get your UQ. So the center of this is just you take the center of UQ and integration with atoms in the integral. And 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 from here, well, this is looking at the, this this is given by the Harishan that it's identified with the functions on. Um, sigma w, so we'll be not by um, HC. So, Harajona Center is the specialization of this part to Q equal to beta. It's not specializing And it's not so hard to see that. So, this. Um, this is the function of this obviously over W. And as basically, I had already mentioned this before, so we have a specialized aggregator center which seems to be the center of this aggregator. But in general, the temperature can get bigger. So here we see one of the examples. So um, actually, the center of using that EK contains another part, which is Referred as the Corbinian part. So you can check if Q is specialized as beta. Now, uh, all the L powers of um, well, certain kinds of root factors, but you can take NI, L, EI, L, and also uh, those for, for root factors. And uh, N, K, L, and L for uh, so um so all these elements belong to the center when it is specialized to a to a to a zero so to a uh, yeah algorithm so and then uh actually they generate the entire center so this is proved by so That the center of the is uh, 
because we're getting this winter. And so we are kind of over their intersection. And their intersection is just uh, those uh, those K and lambda with lambda and the main theorem. I mean, that So this is a uh, so this is like a large community that is let's say function on a real group question. Oh does that say A to map L lambda? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. So uh now I'm going to discuss the small function group. <laughs> so And it's too old there. Yeah, fix L to the odd property. So So this was first introduced by Lucy and um it's defined as the sub algebra inside this Lucy's um, quantum group. But it goes generated by EI and FI. It's the sub algebra generated by EI and FI. The lambda inside of uh, Lucy's So it's nothing but the image of this type. Okay, this is generated by. And you see that this is a finite dimensional algebra because you have explained, but I've sort of explained that like, this EIL is equal to zero, and then for EIL is from um, yeah, it can then you have PW basis for any Q. And, and using to be other basis, you can you can compare that this is a finite dimensional algebra, and um, and moreover, so if you well, it requires a little bit more work, but actually, the kernel here is generated by those elements, by the uh, not sorry, by by, by these elements. So actually, what is this and this sub algebra we can identify with the specialization of the Fortini test from the group uh, by specializing the Frobenius central character to uh, to the group. So this specialization where this map is given by sending E alpha L and F alpha L to zero. And you're saying you pay on the L to one. Okay. All right. Um Sorry, just, what why you said it's the image of B. But, yes. But the K lambda the one K K lambda the L is not one, right? Inside of you lose straight up, right? Hey. Or is it equal to one? Do this thing? Wait, when is it? Yeah. I think it's equal to one. one. Yes. Wait, do you think? No, wait, no, sorry. Uh, yeah. No, no, I think it's, yeah, I think it's one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, Right, and now now I'm looking so okay, so now I think this realization of the small quantum group and I want to use it to study uh, to study the center. So from this picture you see I have already specialized the Frobenius part of the center. But I still have the hard part. And um 
And, and so you can think you can um so I can look at the map from the center of the center of all music. I just threw this this second, I think, and and it's image. So uh so it's image here. Is so what is this image? So you sort of um, so if you if you look here, so uh, the hard channel map they have identified it with uh, functions on k over w. Okay. And this part is is a sub algebra which is generated sort of by L cover. So um so this this inclusion is induced by the, by the map of the corresponding things given by raising an element to the L power. And now, uh, now here, whatever I didn't explain to you, this is like actually the function is not closing your group, but we can ignore that point. Uh, the point is here we have specialized this to just uh, something next to the identity here. So um so yeah if you if you write down this this definition here the uh, yeah, so maybe I should have so so yeah the way I'm thinking of this is this function is um first one to the over over and this is the projection to T and then to over and this is this, this is it, the L of this matter. And so now we're taking the identity point here. And so, so we're especially uh, to the identity point in each view. And so the image here is actually functioning on the same theoretic fiber of that L power map as, as identity. So, um, so what is the thing? So if I denote this by omega, then set theoretically, um, what is omega? Omega is just those points in the torus related to the L power is one. So if you think, of, for example, in terms of symmetric groups, something on N of C star, it's just you take, you're allowed to take L groups of unities in your coordinate and sometimes. And so this, the pi zero of, well, of that kind of is this, the dynamic zero, it's like the close points here is actually identified with uh, the weight that is mod L P, that you're taking L groups of unity, and then uh, invariant by W. And this you can rewrite it as as p portion by the so called extended upon our group. So uh, w is w is well l extended. And your omega will be um, your omega will be like connected components. Well, it, it's an infinitesimal spin, and it, it, its close point is termed as it is, and then at each point you have some 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 infinitesimal uh, structure. So we have something. Right, and so our focus will be will be considered uh, the category of modules to each other on this new thing of P1. So um, this is the same as uh, P within 
Mix it up more than Finally, you get rid of the use of modules uh, such that the, the, the P region is compatible with, uh, with the use of the neural network. So, not being very precise, but in using a zero, you you in using a you still have a certain version of these like these functions actually compatible with the speed gradient is like having a powerless action from those actions. And the way we yeah, so this is the the character of the speed. And so, so for the moment the way we're doing is is that this is one of the examples where you can deform this category and use this uh technical deformation and it's kind of last vector to compute its center. And the deformation is uh can be described as follows. So basically we're taking our our deformation domain R to be just uh functions on the power of us. But completed at the identity, and this is this is the same as uh, the completion of the C and the zero. And then what we're going to take is so, and this I can identify with the uh, A and then completed as uh, at one. For lambda u t, and so, so uh, my u zeta before was the u zeta evolution functions, and then specialize the Jordanian center to c. Where here, remember I have to kill the x radius. So, uh, but instead of specializing c, I can just map it to R, where I have E alpha L and F alpha L in the mirror, I have to the So, um, so I define uh, using R just as, as uh, this, sending it to R, where, uh, where I think the, I think the K lambdas, so, um, And then I consider uh, a deformed category, meaning that I will consider uh, U zeta R modulus P, which is defined as a Okay. Uh, which are uh, yeah, a finite run over R and then with each of them. And so the point is that after this deformation, um, So after this deformation, we're in a bandwidth condition is due to Anderson and the logo. It's not something very easy. Like the light is. Um, so, um, but the point is after this deformation, uh, you have you know, the R community. When you phase change to, um, when phase change to the Franklin field, The category is semi simple. <laughs> and uh, if your phase change to uh, the same range as the final times, which is 
are the alpha for p alpha is the time that you are generated by alpha time, then uh, you are in a one one point situation that's basically equivalent to the situation of SL2. And then in this case, so it's equivalent to a sum of blocks. So let me just know that those by blocks by T lambda the simplified location and, and here lambda belongs to P but L P uh semi direct product with just uh, here you only have the projection S1 and S half. And then this block you can compute it uh, explicitly. So see uh, if S alpha lambda is not a uh, component to lambda minus L alpha check, then, then you're in a regular block. Now you can write down quiver for this for this algebra. So it's um it's a quiver with infinite many and the index will be on 12 root 4 and s2, and here the parallels are like this in both directions. And subject relations that, uh, well, if you go two steps in the same direction, it's zero. And if you at one word, one given vertex, if you go to the right and come back, it's equal to uh, if you go to the left and come back plus up to the sign sign, which I don't decide. Yeah, right. And kind of have a have a text and then uh, uh kind of the identity as this at this vertex. So basically, when you are in such situations, you can write down the how projected is your filter by Hermas and all the maps projected is, and then you'll change it. And uh, I think it can get this. And so, oh, sorry, I think I mean, so this is not. Uh, and then there's another situation where you have a similar noise. And in this case, the the category seems small, so it's just a, a bunch of points with all your weights, but there's no error to them. And uh, therefore, the center of these two cases can be computed explicitly. So here, the center is a uh, product of R. And here, uh, here you can write down the center, but I will give you a direct. This is equal to the equivalent homology of, well, yeah, you can specialize your T well, but. Uh, Yeah, let me just write since uh, of an infinite chain of one. So imagine those are the are the P1s, you will get uh one P, one copy of P1 for each of the vertices. The the point is if you so the commodity of this thing. But if it's not talking about if you're going to come on, if you think that you will come on, in degree one, you have dimension one, because it's connected. In like degree zero, is dimension one, because h zero is just the key to connect it. And then at h two, you have um, you have one element for each of the fundamental paths. And uh, and that's it. And this corresponds to uh, here if you do the computation of central atoms. Uh, yeah, you, you will have the constant and then you will have one half of the So this is um specific computation it's more to than that, but but here you already see that um this this center can be computed explicitly, and then as I explained last time. Now the 
the center of the category we're interested in you, uh, are, is the intersection of uh, of these things for all the atoms inside the uh, inside the complete of the area. The center of the the sweet sense of the And now, okay, so then the geometric part is the following. Mm -hmm. So, on the geometric side, we'll consider, um, let's say, we'll consider G tech to be the uh, uh, yeah, I have a G at the beginning, which is simply connected, and then here I want the, uh, the group of the joint connect. But if I were not in this case, uh, then really if I, I take a group G at the beginning here, I want to work with the components too. Um, and then I consider the FM corresponding in the solution to this group. So, um, It's where you take the portion of all the Lorentz series points and you check those in formal power theories. And here you have a you have a C star action just by rotating the D the He acts on G. And here we uh, consider uh, Cyclic subgroup of order L. So it's a subgroup generated by our zeta. And we'll take the fixed point by, by this group. Um, so this we can compute it decompose into uh, several connected components, and the connected components is characterized by the same set. As here, because my one is characterized by e over a new sign in Calgary. I'll write it and I'll explain that uh, omega, and here that omega is the portion of the group which is equal to the power of L modulo of some terahertz. Subgroup whose type depends on this, the type of this stabilizer. Um, which is determined by Omega. Um, this is written down in the paper by Gregory Summer. Find reference here. And, and then, um, so this is a fun Yasmanian. And then, we are probably interested in so called the fine center pattern. And in a very particular one that I will define for you, so I will take gamma to be um, the following element. So it's inside the linear algebra, um, double bracket T, where gamma zero is an element in T. In G, I think I'll even take it inside the H, which is regular. So it's semi simple and regular. And then gamma will be gamma zero times Z to the power of L minus one. So this is a particular element here. And then um, the stringer fiber associated to this is just so it's a closed. Uh, in this case, inside the Pan-Maxmanian, the points here are well denoted by cosets. Oh, can I yeah. ask you? But I can't see what the like script on W with P W bandwidth and the different region. That L and L. W L extended. L extended. So they assume that the black right is a parabolic is like a chain. Yes. Yes. Um, 
Yes. Oh, I can't do that, but like, if you go in a circle and you go to the other circle plus something out of the check. Something out of the check here. It's my, it's a sign. You can forget the button. Like, after some sign, which I didn't really, I can kind of like, how many extra points. If the sign here is one, then there's one sign. Okay, so where is the dependence on M? There's no dependence on M. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this one of the point that, yeah, here, if you want to talk about the regular uh, bound, you need to assume that it's bigger than a positive number. And then the structure of the regular of the block still in the on L. But the center does, and the dependence on L is actually What's the One is the identity value. So it's like you just the, the item of the first one to the small. There's a dog that really is called. Sorry? Is the other item the same? Is the minus one the other item? No, 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 no. You're given an item and you you give a point to the server, you look at the and the other two of the same thing. And it's given by how to take times that the item will be. So, uh, so this consists of those points such that if you do the joint action on D minus on gamma, you still get an element in the in G tag of the So this is the definition of the of the factor here. And uh, so what we take the and you notice that so on the other grass line and you have an action of feedback just by multiplication on the left. And since uh, I've chosen my gamma in the carton, so T can actually normalize gamma. And therefore, it continues to X here. So I have an action of here. And then it also uh, continues with this time. So I can go to this. And now the point is so this particular sphere fiber sets, so called the GKM condition, is that you can identify the fixed points. Under the T action with uh with the that is a program in your T which is already before. And then uh, you can describe the one dimensional objects in this fiber. So there is at at most one uh one dimensional object. Between two six points. And moreover, if you look at all the objects connecting to the same six points, their characters are in the And so, so yeah. So in this work, we will see this as exactly about plus uh, the linear definition. This is usually referred to as the GKM condition, uh, where GKM stands for Floris and Falcon in that process. Because for satellites, they give a description of the equivalent homology on the color of Isn't it KYP? Sorry? Isn't it pairwise? Like linearly independence is very strong. Oh, yeah, pairwise. Okay, and then for such varieties, you can, like as I said, you can describe their um, equivalent homology. 
Um, inside, inside uh, the current homogeneal fixed points, as uh, those where you, you localize to this uh, point that you call this. And, uh, and, and, and the remark is that if you have um, in the FL2 or in the Grantham situation, these are uh, precisely uh, the, uh, the union of P1 as I indicated over there. So, um, so using the kind of similar as we do in, in this situation, we can identify the um, so this which is you know, joint work with which is how we call and uh, in the festival which is on the upper uh, so the center of this before can be is isomorphic to the equilibrium homology of the above scalar fiber I wrote up there. And here, uh, yeah, here I want, want to complete this at, at zero to match my definition for R. As before. So, um, so one corollary of this is that so the Homogeneous this variety well, therefore you can specialize the specialization of this that is based on to see this is the usual homology of the uh of an scalar fiber. And I explained last time, so here when you specialize, you don't get the center of the specialized category in general, but you, you have a map. So from here we can use a map from the homology. Of the of the stringer fiber inside the center of the non deform And moreover, here on this on this uh on Rasmine officer here, you have this symmetry which corresponds to um the P Latin this is created in here's a key action on the on the fiber, and you can take the invariant part with respect to that action, then um this gives you uh, um the embedding of this into and here if you take the T in there in part, you will just get the U, the center of the small point of group, but in there it's under the T action. And we we actually so this is our, it's our consequence of this isomorphism, and we actually conjecture that uh, these are isomorphisms. Then. You check the direct homology still? Is there a corollary? In polarity, there's no invariance. No so here, I, I, I do not work with the form category, I work with using that. Okay, but oh, so how do you get this corollary? You explain how that, how that arose. So if I specialize here, I get this. Why, why do you just T check it? No, it's the, oh, this is the general way you have the homology. Formal, and then you specialize with respect to the internet uh, of the point, and then you get again. So why is it injected? Uh, it is injected because you, uh, so here it matches with the image of this. So you have a map from the special, from, you have a specialization map from this to the center of the mm -hmm. team, and its image is the specialization. 
Why is the affine spinal fiber formal? Oh, it has a affine paving. In this, in this particular case, it has an affine paving. Yeah. Very nice to hear that. Okay, I will just uh, <laughs> uh, to discuss uh, some, like, yeah, I want to mention there's a pattern over uh, the result in the case of quantum groups as well. But for this, you will need to consider a new integral form. So this we sometimes call hybrid uh, integral form. So this is, um, so because the chain is generated by the EIFIs and Lucid is generated by divided powers, but actually it comes to a new screen where half of the generators take the divided powers and the other and then, so this is usually a hybrid, and you can so in particular, this contains the the function in computer and you can specialize uh, this also through this community, and you can consider the fiber of for this for this uh, for this item. So this yeah, finally generated using us AST models. Uh, which we also act its uh, its key bracelet. and then uh, with oh uh, yeah, and so that we want the AIs acts locally. It turns out this if you take this version of the it's kind of over it's better than if you just take the six of quantum groups or the function class. Uh, because, for example, this category can be deformed, and it just has you know, properties which are closer to the usual category of their and and so um, so it, it was sort of conjectured in our paper, but then it was by my students uh, and simple that uh, if you take the center of this. Uh, category the deformed it is the equivalent homology of this time not the affine sphere fiber but the zeta fixed point in the affine gross margin. And then uh, we also took the non deformed version. Where the proof really, well, it, in this case, we have some sort of anti-dominant where that things follows the path that we're used to, although technically it's much more complicated. It has a, yeah, it has no real center, center of God, et cetera, but yeah. But, but this is a, yeah, I just want to like this, and this is a nice category of reference you can work with. And then, uh, so this result did the, did, together in the following way. So you can consider uh, the restriction and cohomology from the uh, upon grass minion to the stringer fiber. So you have the restriction that in cohomology. And here you know that this is isomorphic to the center of the rotation of hybrid. And you can think of Lucy's category representing a Lucy quantum group as a sort of a parabolic subcategory in the And from here, you can map from this center to the center of the music representation of and uh and they are so like in our initial uh met from from the uh G, some G tag in there, part of the um, small quantum group inside here. And so, yeah, this map was constructed by another way. Um, this is compatible. And then, uh, and then this is inside the inside of G tag in there. And here I had the map with the student in that theorem. Maybe you have to call this map B. So, yeah, this, this image will arrive in the 
you can you never have a scheme in the you know market that you have that you a kind of really bad but at least it's the urban key this is the map and and this side one to this part of the game sits up together okay I saw it. 